You're welcome to Logos of Flame Daily Devotional Podcast. Be blessed as you listen. September 28th. Today's topic is Don't Take His Silence for Weakness. Have you noticed that there seems to be a growing wave of apathy and spiritual complacence among Christians? Doctrines of discipline, chastisement, and right living have given way to teaching of liberality, freedom from judgment, and unprincipled living. What pertains among many today in the body of Christ is service without sanctification, faith, devoid of faithfulness, greed masked as grace, and hallelujahs empty of holiness. In Christendom, many live carelessly in their everyday life, but appear on Sunday morning lifting up holy hands to the Lord. As a matter of fact, for many who profess to be Christians, there is no difference between their lifestyles and those of unbelievers. In all of this, God seems surprisingly silent. He does not thunder from heaven or send down hailstorm and lightning to make known his displeasure. Unlike in the days of old, when judgments were sharp and swift, it appears as though ours is an era where his love indeed covers multitudes of our sins and his mercy renews itself every morning. However, is this reason to continue in blatant disobedience and hypocrisy? Has God's silence become a blank check to act without thought to his name and honor? In Isaiah 57 11, God poses a much clearer question to Israel and to us. Whom have you so dreaded and feared that you have not been true to me? and have neither remembered me or taken this to heart? Is it not because I have long been silent that you do not fear me? New International Version. God's silence is not weakness. He is as much a consuming fire as he is the shepherd who leads us beside still waters. He is still able to break us in pieces and bind us together. In 2 Peter 3, 9, we are reminded that God's patience and seeming silence is so that none should perish, but that we should all come to repentance. Today, consider your attitude towards the things of God. Have you been negligent and taken his ordinances for granted? Living life the way you please? If you have, repent and turn over a new leaf. Practical Reflections 1. What instances in my life have I exalted the fear and approval of man over the fear and approval of God? 2. What definite steps will I take to begin to honor God in every area of my life? A Bible reading is from Isaiah 54, 1 through 57 14 Ephesians 6 1 to 24 Psalm 70 1 to 5 Proverbs 24 8 our memory verse is from Ephesians 6 24 using the new international version grace to all who love our Lord Jesus Christ with an undying love we would love to hear from you please send your messages and prayer requests to our email office at logosoflameministries.org or visit our Facebook page, Logos of Flame Ministries, and drop a message. God bless.